DBA design challenge time again. We're going to do this year. What about walking aids? Mm, you could do. I think whatever we do, we need to find an external limiter. Something that everyone struggles with, it'll just help us empathise. So something that as soon as you use it, you're limited, you know? Like what? I don't know, it's going to be tricky, but I mean, I don't know, carrying shopping. As soon as you carry bags, your hands are full, aren't they? You know, your dexterity becomes limited. You can't take a call, you can't do anything. Circulation gets cut off. Everyone struggled at some point. So we need to design something that allows everyone to carry their shopping with their hands free? Yeah, I mean everyone carries bags, whether it's shopping bags or anything else, but you know, whether it's carrying bags to your car or to the house or, or from a shop. Commuters doing a daily shop on the way home from work and just picking up a few items? Yeah, they could be on trains or buses or walking home. Students who don't have a car and carry their shopping? Village shoppers who still buy their vegetables from greengrocers bread from the bakers, get their meat from the butchers. Singles or couples who do a weekly local shop, or city dwellers whose lifestyle dictates a little and often approach, or who shop to always buy the freshest produce. It could be great if we could make this a fashion accessory for shopaholics. I took my two-year-old to the shops the other day and we were shopping for about an hour and decided we needed a coffee. She wanted to walk, so I was at the counter with one hand trying to hold on to her, one hand carrying several shopping bags and the other trying to pay for the coffee. Then I was presented with a tray which I had to carry to the table. Something that took the bags out of my hand would give me one hand free to hold on to her. That would be really useful. Okay, who's it not for? Who would it not appeal to? I suppose it wouldn't appeal to families doing a large food shop because they need to take the bags from the checkout via a trolley to the back of their car so they don't need to carry the bags any distance so this is not for them. Our simple high street observational research showed just how many people struggle with bags and how many people hooked their arms through the bags rather than carry them in their hands to avoid cutting off their circulation. We took our ideas to a focus group to see what resonated with them. Carrying heavy weights in your hands, um, it's not it's not the best way to do it for anyone. I don't use my hands, I use them always. Whenever I pick up the bags, I just make them a bit bigger and put them on my yeah. shoulders. Oh, really? Using a stick, you've only got, you've lost one hand already, you've only got one hand left to, to carry anything with, or even to open doors, or whatever sort of things you have to do. So, uh, I personally prefer not to carry things in my hands. I have to use walking sticks, but I can't, I just can't use them because you can't, I've got RA in my wrists and my elbow and my feet and my knees, so you, I can't hold the sticks. So it's not particularly heavy, is it? It's no, just rain. bulky and slippery yeah. because plastic bags are a nightmare to hold on because they're slippery. Yeah. I mean, is there a practical merit to leaving your hands free when you're shopping? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's a load bearing structure that goes through your yeah. body. I like the fact that you can distribute the weight over your Yeah, I like the shoulder strap idea. What I think it needs to be is kind of built-in value product. So I can see that the, the weight-bearing capacities of that over the shoulders would be a good idea. Key drivers were something to carry and contain a, short, uh, a small volume of, of shopping, support the weight, but more importantly that, that it was at waist height. Waist height, yes. yes. Okay. I like it because it actually addresses another problem, which I'm surprised nobody's mentioned. Uh, five shopping bags, and your handbag, and you've got to pay for something. You have only one choice, you've got to put everything down, buy your handbag, yeah. and fiddle around and get your money out. Something like that, your money's in, in that bag, and everything's attached to it. So basically, it's, it's much safer to shop in London like that, because you're, you're attached to it. We began by looking at redesigning the bag, but existing carrier bags are so simple and cheap that any change would be an increase in manufacturing time or material, and therefore cost. Many Bag for Life schemes are now in operation, but although these bags last a long time, they do not imbue any quality that makes you want to keep them. They are still uncomfortable to hold, and a large shop would require so many of them that incorporating easy-to-hold handles on every bag would increase their bulk and not allow you to carry more. So we knew we'd identified an opportunity to make things better and set about designing a carry system that would accommodate all bags, whether they're paper, plastic or material. There are a few solutions to this problem already on the market and we observed a few consumers using their own Heath Robinson versions made from lengths of hose pipe with slits down the middle. We found that these solutions only make one bag slightly more comfortable to hold for a longer period of time. 
They do not address the underlying problem associated with carrying heavy loads, namely carrying multiples and distributing weight whilst keeping your hands free. We came up with a simple solution and then set about modelling and refining our design. The solution to the problem we have devised is Lugger. Lugger allows the consumer to carry multiple bags and distributes the weight through their body making the loads easier and more comfortable to carry. It also allows consumers to have their hands free without putting the bags down and collects the bags together. So, if put down, they're convenient to pick up again. Lugger has a soft grip handle that's been designed to remain comfortable and easy to grip for longer periods of time without cutting off circulation. An easy guide allows you to hook multiple bags onto Lugger and prevents the bag from falling off if Lugger is dropped or placed on the floor. The bags naturally collect directly below the centre of the hand providing the best position for weight distribution. A padded, adjustable shoulder strap allows Lugger to redistribute the load through the shoulder and spine, allowing the user to have their hands free whilst carrying the bags. For storage, the whole system rolls up and slips into your pocket, handbag or curry case. We want Lugger to be something the consumer wants to keep and finds invaluable to have around. We want it to be made with recyclable materials, but not to have a cheap throwaway, disposable aesthetic. Therefore, we have made the main hook of Lugger as a casting, and the handle from recyclable plastic. Lugger is something that is imbued with quality. You want to keep it, use it, and are not ashamed to wear it. We don't want to exclude people on price, but we do want to use high quality materials, as Lugger should be a one-time purchase. Depending on the retail environment, Lugger can be a single shot injection moulding, a series of mouldings, or a combination of materials such as a casting and a moulding, or even a machined wooden handle. This allows Lugger to be a fashion purchase or a branded product sold at the checkouts in supermarkets and high street stores. Large retail chains could produce their own variants of Lugger, detailed with their livery. Or in somewhere like Westby, you clip all your bags into it, and as you keep going along, you clip more bags and more bags. But what it does is it leaves your hands free. Well, I'd probably use it for like shopping, like food shopping, yeah. maybe because it'd be easier. Because I don't have a car at the moment, so yeah. it'd be easy. And it's adjustable. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. What would you do? You just have it with you so that you could always yeah. have your. Uh, it would fold up and you put it in your handbag. You put it in your handbag. Hmm, yeah, I think it's quite a good idea. Well, that's a good idea because it's a nuisance when you've got bags and you've got to keep sticking them on your arms. But yeah, yeah, yeah probably would, yeah, especially with a <laughs> little one. And I think it would be really good for when you're in the supermarket and they're always really heavy, so it's better to spread the weight, I'd say, over your shoulders than that's true. carry them Lugging because I them. always get a sore hand. When especially they're if you've been them. shopping and then you want to go to another shop. I yeah. always have too many. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, it's certainly a good idea. Certainly if you've got young children and you need, you definitely need your hands free, I can see it being a good idea um, for that. I think it would have built me, yes. Takes the weight of your fingers. What I would do is I'd tend to put, make that wider. Yes, I think it depends on the price, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, I probably might well. I think it's a good idea. The product I had had grooves in for the fingers, which meant you know, your fingers sat in the grooves, but it was not comfortable at all. But fingers are not all the same, are they? Where at least with that, you've got a various uh, size hands can manage it. I actually do think the handle itself <laughs> has got merit because, mm. you know, four of these bags, they do get weighty sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, and that would certainly make it uh, that much easier. To, to actually handle. So it's a good idea for young mums and slightly elderly people. That's a good idea. Possibly, yeah, I think yeah. that's a very good idea. So, having a lugger is something that could benefit everyone. So what have we done? We've identified a real problem and an opportunity to improve people's lives. We've tried to pay attention to what people need and look at existing designs and add significant functional benefits. We've looked at the commercial and marketing aspects and we've explored manufacturing processes and along with that we've come up with what we believe to be a good business model.